Good afternoon. Mayor Tim Keller addressed a plan to reopen Albuquerque in a telephone town hall today. He says it will have to happen in phases, but the city is waiting for a number of factors first before it can begin. News 13's Rebecca Atkins was listening in on that call today. She's live from home with the latest. Rebecca. Well, Mayor Tim Keller says there is a list of criteria both city officials and state officials are looking at to determine when is the best time to reopen. They say the first factor is the virus itself. We've got to get past the peak in new cases and fatalities. And we think we're close on that. Uh, and this is, you know, any time in the next 10 days, I think we're going to be past that. That's, that's good news. The mayor went on to say they're also looking at the medical side of things, like are there enough beds and medical personnel and ventilators, which he said is looking good. He also says they start, they start to allow businesses to reopen, for instance, retail. They may allow standalone shops to open rather than a place like the Coronado Mall, where there are a lot of people who can gather in one place. He says they want to open slowly so they can monitor if there is a jump in cases. Mayor Keller says it will be a bit of a roller coaster for the first month as they experiment what is and is not working. We're looking at various regulations around face coverings, uh, also perhaps screening coming into businesses, uh, especially for like call centers and things of this nature. Um, we also want to make sure that we have quarantine protocols set up. So the question is what happens if somebody does test positive? The mayor also says once things start to reopen, people will need to get tested if they do come into contact with someone who did test positive for COVID-19. Back to you. Okay, Rebecca. The mayor says he is keeping track of what other states are doing to reopen, like Georgia and Colorado, to see what's working there.